thought I'd show you guys another video of what is supposed to be my kitchen, but instead it is basically a warehouse of baseball cards and toys, football cards, basketball cards, hockey cards, records, vintage vinyl, um, starting lineup toys, uh, sports memorabilia. So what I've been doing over here on these uh, baseball cards and sports cards boxes is I've been uh, pulling out all the major stars and moving them to over here in alphabetical order. So basically all these boxes you see lined up are a majority of them are commons right now or um, minor stars there might be some uh, key rookie cards in there too um, that were probably worth a lot at one time but are no longer a perfect example I can think of is back in the 1990s Kevin Moss of the Yankees uh, he had such a great rookie year and so I have many Kevin Moss rookie cards in these boxes and another one from 1990s was uh, Big Ben McDonald, Orioles pitcher. And I remember selling a lot of his cards too. And basically between Kevin Moss and uh, Ben McDonald cards and other rookies of the 1990s, almost practically worthless. Anywhere between, you know, five cents to maybe, maybe up to a dollar. But in any event, um, these are the boxes I've been working on, pulling out um, stars that um, have gotten now into the Hall of Fame or are potential Hall of Famers. And so I've been transferring um, the stars over to this side. And on this side, these are all the good boxes. And so I've been working on uh, baseball card stars and football, hockey, basketball, a little bit of golf, a little bit of uh, soccer that's in here too. Um, even uh, some Olympic stars. And I've been putting them slowly in alphabetical order, so it takes time. So I figure that of the sports cards that you see here in my kitchen, I, I'm estimating it's around half a million, 500,000 plus sports cards. And I also have a lot more in my garage as well too, and throughout the house. So um, down here on the floor, and don't worry about me, I have a second kitchen. But basically this kitchen is, I'm just currently using it as a storage facility. So I have um, down here all vintage vinyl records, which starts off with a good number of 45s. And then a majority of these records that I have here are completely sealed, new. Uh, that's what I kind of look for when I'm going to estate sales because they're just very easy to uh, list and resell. Um, so the one thing is that, you know, it takes time to take pictures and sell these records, but eventually, you know, they do sell, especially if they're uh, brand new and sealed. And there's also a good number in here too that are completely opened up, but the condition of the record is really um, gem mint uh, like no scratches etc so that's basically what I kind of look for for records um, up over here are just empty cardboard boxes of um, that I will use for cards when I start organizing more of them um, another uh, box of sports cards so basically this is what I've been doing just to show you guys is uh, like for instance, I will uh, start organizing. These are all cards of Pedro Martinez that are in here. So you'll see that I've been organizing him and I've been putting all, all Hall of Famers and Stars cards in these little penny sleeves. And if it's, a, if it's a, an expensive rookie card, I'll also put it inside a hard plastic sleeve. So you see I got Pedro Martinez. And then I've got uh, some of Tim McCarver, Tug McGraw, uh, Fred McGriff, lots of Fred McGriff. Continues from that row all the way over to here. I'll just maybe just show you a few. And so this is still a work in progress because uh, it takes time to put these cards in sleeves and organize them. But I have uh, cards of Fred McGriff through the years. 
And then uh, who else we have here? Mark McGuire, good stack of him. And this is not even all of Mark McGuire, I have many more. So uh, Paul Molitor, good stack all the way through here. And let's see who else I can show you. Some of these um, get stuck. Uh, Dale Murphy, Bobby Mercer, Mike Messina, Eddie Murray, Phil Necro, David Ortiz, Jim Palmer. See, so see, this basically is like my my end of the M's, actually the beginning of the M's um, to the beginning of the R's. Tim Raines, Kirby Puckett. So it goes on and on. So you can see that's kind of like how I've been organizing things. Mike Piazza. So like that. So I probably have a, a good number of these boxes where I'm organizing them. And then in these bins, I'll show you a couple of these boxes or bins. In these bins, I have 95% uh, of these bins contain uh, vintage starting lineup figures. So let's just show you a few in here. So here we go. We got uh, we got um, Vince Coleman, and I think this is from 1990, I believe. Sometimes it says the date on the back. Yeah, 1990. So we got Vince Coleman. So we got rookies in here, minor stars, etc. We even have Olympic ones in here. Um, this one is Olga Olga Corbett. So we have Olympic ones in here. Let's see if I can show you some other ones that are in here. Here we go. We got uh, we got Alonzo Morning, Alonzo Ball from the Miami Heat, and that's from 1996. So you get an idea as to uh, what kind of sports figures I have and collect. And again, uh, I do put these on eBay for sale when I have time. Uh, in this box, um, these are all on eBay. These are, again, starting lineup figures, but these are the big double ones. So what I mean is, here's a perfect example of one, is we got, um, got Dan Marino and Bob Grease of the Dolphins. So you see, two, uh, two players in one package. In my pantry over here, I have um, Marvel trading cards, uh, more sports cards. Even in, even in my cabinets, I have more sports cards, as you can see. More sports cards. So basically, my place has become a warehouse. And then venturing into my hallway over here, let me get a light on, but these are, I think it's, I have 10 comic boxes here, um, completely filled that I'm organizing. I recently acquired over a thousand comics out in the state sale, and I'm organizing these ones here in alphabetical order. Uh, venturing into my bedroom over here you, you can see my bedroom has been taken over by comics so i have many more comics to organize um, again i acquired more comics and uh, organizing them so as you can see and i also have a good stack uh, whenever i go into walmart i tend to see if there's any uh any of these um walmart exclusives and if they are, I generally tend to pick them up um, if they're uh, still nicely shrink wrap sealed and not damaged. So I have a good stack of, of uh, Marvel and DC ones there. So uh, this I will eventually put up on eBay. This is a cool uh, vintage um, DC puzzle. So now the comic books don't end there. Just to quickly show you guys, it also continues inside of my closet. And this one is just chock full of comics from the floor all the way up to the top. So anyway, that's a little brief tour of uh, my so-called warehouse of where I keep things. Be sure to check out my eBay store treasures in my home. I sell all kinds of items. Uh, primarily sports cards, toys, comics, and records. Thanks for watching, guys.